why am I skipping? Actually, because this video will be studying gait mechanics, the way in which we walk and how that can inform us about the nervous system. Don't turn away, because that starts right now. A gait assessment starts with evaluation of how someone sits. I want to see if they're able to support their core without using their arms to hold them up. I also want to see if they have good balance. I learn a lot watching someone stand from a seated position, particularly when they're not using their arms. Here, we can see if both legs are strong or if they favor one leg. I learn a lot about proximal leg strength when watching someone stand from a seated position. We can assess casual stance. Then we ask the person to bring their feet close together and stand like a soldier. While we do this, we'll have someone stand at attention with their eyes open, and then we'll have them stand at attention with their eyes closed. This teaches us different kinds of information about how their nervous system is keeping them upright, and we learn a lot by assessing stance in this manner. Arguably, I learn more from watching someone's casual gait than I do from any other single neuro exam test. We break the casual gait up into several different sections that are paid attention to individually. For example, arm swing, stride length, knee bend, heel strike, toe off, turn. All of these things teach us about the person's neurological status and certain patterns of abnormal gait can clue us into certain various disease types or problems. I'll highlight a couple examples at the end of this video. After an assessment of what their casual gait looks like, we can then turn our attention to provocative gait maneuvers that flush out more detailed aspects of their neurological system. And I'll show you several of those tests right now. Assessing tandem gait looks at balance in a dynamic fashion. The instructions are to place your heel to touch your toe each time in a straight line. I let people put their hands out for balance and look down at their feet if they need to. We can make walking more challenging by adding in what we call a dual task. Here, we're walking while turning our head left to right. This might be the neurological equivalent of walking and chewing gum at the same time. Skipping is no doubt a very complex motor task. When's the last time that you skipped? Likewise. Walking backwards is a complex motor task that teaches me a lot about neurological functioning. Balance is super important in MS, and an excellent way of testing balance is to watch someone balance on only one leg. To kick it up a notch, we can ask that person if they can hop on that leg. I will oftentimes use a deep knee bend to assess functionally motor strength coordination, and balance. I'll wrap this video up with a few examples of abnormal gaits commonly seen in the setting of MS, including an off-balance ataxic gait, a spastic gait, as well as a foot drop. So let's check that out now. The word ataxic means irregular in Greek, and an ataxic gait is just that. It's very irregular in its cadence. This is commonly seen with problems of the cerebellum, whether that be from too much alcohol on a Saturday night or from damage from multiple sclerosis impacting the cerebellar structures. In this clip, I'm imitating left foot spasticity. You can see that instead of landing on my left heel, I land on the left front of the foot or the side, that I'm not able to clear the ground with my knee and so I have to swing my left leg out, called circumduction. And you can also see as I walk how it changes my overall gait mechanics, just having a stiff left foot. In this clip, I'm imitating spasticity affecting the entire left side, so both the foot and the arm. You can see as compared to the last video how having a stiff arm dramatically affects the gait mechanics. In this clip, I intended to show you a left foot drop, but instead was photobombed by a giant dog. For those of you that are unfamiliar, this is my puppy River. If you'd like to learn more about the neuro exam, click the video that's on your screen right now. My name's Aaron Boster, and thank you for learning about MS with me. Until my next video or my next live stream, or the next time I see you in clinic, be safe and take care.